Have you been drifting away from your friends, especially when you started adulting, you know, you got your full-time job, you've been busy with work, you've been preoccupied with settling your bills, and then suddenly you just feel like there's not enough time to catch up. And even when you do bump into that friend, you tell them that you'll catch up, but that actually never happens because your schedules never seem to match. Friendship can be a very hard thing to do, especially when you're transitioning from a life of a student into a life of an adult and in today's video i'm going to talk to you about how you can build stronger intentional friendships as you move into adulthood so stay tuned everybody welcome back my name is Vivek Yani and if you're new here please consider subscribing to this channel so that you can learn more about my future videos on adulting where I talk about how you can live a life of fun freedom fortune and fulfillment in today's video I want to talk to you about how you can nurture your friendships as you go through that adulting transitions as you transition from a student into an adult and you have all those new responsibilities that have been just shoved upon you how do you still make time for friends and nurture the friendships so that you don't get out of touch and suddenly feel lonely and you have no one to talk to anymore the truth is once you start working and you have a lot of responsibilities in terms of you know getting your job done you know performing well at work and thinking about those key areas right especially career right friendship tends to go down the priority lane and even as you start thinking about romance and you know getting settled down or finding a partner to live in with right it suddenly seems like you, know, you don't have enough time for friends because a lot of the priorities start to change at this point in time right a lot of us especially in your 20s and 30s are looking to climb the corporate ladder you're looking to earn the money right and you're looking to really develop a lifestyle of your dreams so at this stage it becomes a bit harder for you to you know really put time for friends especially when your schedules are not matching and you're going through a lot of transitions you're going through a lot of change so it can be a little hard for you to really stay in touch with the people that you spend a lot of time and you have a lot of good memories with the second point is that recognize that there will be discomfort now in any friendship there are good times and bad times right we will go through the good times together and we'll also endure the bad times sometimes in adulthood it is very hard for us to you know go through the bad times together because we feel like the other person is not putting in enough effort but you have to recognize that this is a sign of the bad times as well when everyone is going through a lot of transitions they cannot be thinking about the other person as much unless they are pretty settled in their space so what you can do is to be prepared for the discomfort that happens during this adulting phase and just make it a point to stick through it whatever it is right don't give up on the person or the friendship tolerate whatever things you're going through right even if you may not really like it be willing to tolerate all of those things and hang in there for your friend so that the friendship survives so this is something that you need to keep in your mind as well don't avoid discomfort don't let go of the friendship just because it's uncomfortable in fact what i would tell you to do is if it's not a toxic friendship it's just that your friend doesn't have time for you doesn't have the ability to meet you as often as you used to what you want to do is just hang in there and tolerate this uncomfortable feeling of not being in touch for a little longer until the person goes through and you know is pretty much settled in their space so that at the end of it all they still see that you are there for them even though they were going through a bad patch of time another thing that you will realize as well is during this adulting phase so many transitions happen and the similarities that we have with our friends will not be as much anymore right there are chances where people will just change completely because of their work environment because of the relationships because of the things that they have been up to so the similarities that bonded you together back when you were in school may not actually be there in fact when people are in different life stages they're going through different things they tend to actually bring us apart from one another now this is normal don't think that you know the person is changing their personality is changing they don't care anymore it's just that there's just too many things going on and 
once you have that kind of expectation to realize that there are lesser similarities and more differences and still you're willing to be there for the other person that makes the friendship flourish even more now there will be these changes especially during this period of time the key thing is to realize that yes even despite these changes that are happening i'm going to be there for my friend and i'm going to be as much of a support as i can be even if they cannot fulfill the kind of needs and requirements i wish we had maybe you want to meet up more often maybe you want to travel together as friends maybe you want to do different things and you know things that you really enjoy but you're unable to because of time and all of those things just remember that you know despite all of these things i will still be there for my friend and once we do get the time we will enjoy those time together have you ever had those friend who you know after a long time you've met and you feel like you've even though you've met after such a long time you don't feel like you've lost out on a lot of things in fact when you catch up it feels like good old times again this is the exact same thing when you eventually meet your friend you will still feel that kind of thing if you don't punish them if you continuously punish them for not meeting up not putting in effort and things like that without really being empathetic then it will strain the relationship and this is something you want to avoid so know that you know these changes will be there know that you may not have a lot of things in common but despite all of those things you still want to be there as a supporter for your friend now the third thing you want to do is to put aside your busyness and make time to check in. Now what do I mean by that? If you see something on social media, if you see something in the outside world when you're going out, you see a poster that reminded you of your friend, you saw a scene in the movie that reminded you of your friend, you saw a joke that, you know, it also related back to your friend. Take a moment to share those kind of moments. Whether it's an old photo that Facebook reminded you of, send it to your friend, right? Use these small, small moments uh, that you had together to reach out to your friend and stay connected. The whole idea is to not let busyness be the excuse to even send a message. How long does it take to really send a message through? So what you want to do is, whenever you see these kind of moments, send it through to them so that. They are also reminded of the friendship, they are reminded of the good times and they put in more effort to want to meet you regularly. And even if they are very busy at this point in time, right, be patient and continue to check in with them. Maybe once in every month or once every three months, ask them if they are free to meet up because the more consistent you are in following up with them, the more they are also realizing how consistent you are and they will start to put in even more effort and prioritize the friendship higher and higher in their priority list. Also, you don't really need an excuse to just randomly call them. These are your friends, you've hung up with them for so long, right? And you've had so many memories. What you can try is to randomly call them up when you just remember them, right? When you have those moments where suddenly you, you remember your friend, call them up randomly. You know, we always think that when we call them up randomly, we're calling them at a bad time. So what you can do is when you call them up randomly, ask them, hey, is this a good time to chat, right? And then let them know, I'm just doing a random call because I saw this and I got reminded of you. How have things been? Get in touch, start speaking again. It will feel good, right? You will feel a lot better when you reconnect with your friend after a long time and especially when it is random when you approach them to you know text them for their happy birthdays it's very expected but when you are a little bit more spontaneous right your friends will actually appreciate that gesture a lot more even though it's a simple phone call so these are some of the tips that you can use to you know really set your expectations and your mindset around how to nurture your friendships so that they don't actually wither and die out right you want to ensure that you stay in touch with these friends even if it may not be as often as frequent as it used to be at least even if it's once a month or once in three months at least be able to continue at a cycle that works for both of you okay commit to something that is doable and then slowly look into increasing the frequencies that you have in meeting up with one another all right, those are my tips in helping you to nurture your friendships. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have not been in touch with a friend and you want to get in touch with them, send this video to them so that they remember you and they also put in more effort to get in touch with you and stay connected. And if you 
Have any other ideas on how you can nurture the friendships, especially when you are in your 20s and 30s? Please do share them in the comments below because I think we all need to learn how to better connect with one another. Even though we're in a much more connected world, we seem to be much more isolated. So how can we build stronger relationships, especially with those we were really close to at a certain point in time? Okay, with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe and be happy. Bye.